Welcome everyone to the Hobby and Tech Warrior, where we delve deeper into the little secrets hidden within the hobbies that preoccupy us. J4 here, and in this video, I have something airsoft for you. Specifically, electrical repair of a GP807, an auto winding box magazine for GNP MK46 AEG replicas. The capacitor on its circuit has ruptured and needs replacing. Likewise, an alternative wire is also needed for the manual winding switches cable that tends to go brittle and deteriorate over time. Apart from the repairs, I will demonstrate modification to the existing extension cable to include a low profile mini blade fuse for added safety. The following segment is a teardown process which involves separating the inner mechanism from the box magazine shell. Firstly, the block that routes the extension wire and includes the BB loading trap door is disassembled by undoing two screws. From here, the cable can be separated from the printed circuit board controller. Undoing only one screw is necessary to separate the hose from the loading mechanism. The other screw holds the retainer that joins these parts onto the hose. You can see dried remnants of the residue that sprayed out of the capacitor on the walls. The voltage rating of the capacitor is hidden underneath. We need this info to find a suitable replacement. To remove the board, the top half of the winding mechanism structure needs to be separated by undoing two screws hidden under some tape. I use an X-Acto knife to chip away at the epoxy resin that held the capacitor firmly in place. Other sharp or pointy tools might work better here. Take care not to damage the surrounding components or board surface. The capacitor is rated for 16 volts.
The replacement I got is an Aquarius equivalent from Rubicon, designated ZLJ. The Rubicon ZLJ capacitor is considerably larger despite having the same rating. Next is replacing the cable of the manual winding switch. My assumption here is the old age and possibly storage conditions need the jacket insulation brittle and deteriorate. I'm going with a type of Siamese audio cable. I found one which felt like it had a more durable synthetic outer insulation jacket. I had two to choose from and went with the thicker one. Here I'll be showing my patchwork for covering up the switch with a series of shrink tubing to replace the one I tore open. I didn't have the kind of hot iron to seal it like the original one, but this way works just as well and doesn't need any special tools.
Next, room needs to be made for the thicker cable. The routing paths on the body of the mechanism and the access hole of the block with the BB loading trap door needs to be enlarged. The last step of this repair is the modification of the extension wire to include an easily serviceable fuse. I've tried installing a fuse holder in the past but found it to be bulky. I much prefer this method of terminating female spade connectors to accept mini blade fuses for a streamlined form factor. Just make sure to massage them for a snug fit with sufficient contact if they become loose.
capacitor and wire have been replaced and their condition is looking much better. All that is left is to put it back together and try it out. In my previous tests, the newer and higher quality capacitor seems to hold up better.